Nelson Mandela University is the largest tertiary institution in the Eastern Cape. It has seven campuses which all have their own unique identity. The North and South Campus are the only campuses in the country built on a private nature reserve. South Campus, surrounded by indigenous plants and 22 mammal species with the Indian Ocean as the backdrop. The South Campus is considered our main campus and houses the main administration including the Vice-Chancellor's office in its 18-storey main building. It is the cultural hub of the university and offers the majority of our courses. North Campus Situated adjacent to the South Campus in Samarstrand is the North Campus. It houses the stunning engineering building with excellent facilities like the recently built Bitumen Lab, a full conference center, many of the university's support services amongst one of the oldest art schools in South Africa. Its campus offers residential facilities, state-of-the-art sports facilities and recreational areas. Ocean Sciences Campus Just opposite the North Campus and Gomery Road is the recently built Ocean Sciences Campus which is South Africa's first dedicated Ocean Sciences Campus. It is the hub for creative, pioneering, transdisciplinary, postgraduate ocean sciences research and teaching, promoting innovation for interdependent spheres of sustainability, mainly sustainable livelihoods for coastal communities for the benefits of future generations. Missionville Campus Located along Johnson Road, the Missionville campus is the home of the Nelson Mandela University's Medical School. Home to our brand new medical school with a direct reach to communities such as Zwide and New Brighton that it aims to serve. Explore a career in medicine in the heart of Nelson Mandela Bay and work with the local hospitals to become a beacon of hope for communities in the Eastern Cape and South Africa at large. A warm welcome to everyone joining us today for the Faculty of Health Sciences Information Webinar. It is a great pleasure to be able to share with you all the wonderful and exciting programs and activities which the Faculty has to offer. Today we have with us virtually our Executive Dean Prof Sukiswa Zengela and in person our Director of School of Clinical Care and Medicinal Sciences Prof Ilza Truter, our Director of the Medical School Professor Fikile Nombete and our manager for the Faculty Academic Administration Division, Mrs. Marilyn Africana. Our panel and additional faculty members are available to answer any questions you may have. Please feel free to use the live chat function on the screen to ask these questions during the session. I would now like to hand over to our Executive Dean, Professor Zingela, who will provide a short welcome to the faculty. Welcome to the Faculty of Health Sciences webinar. I'm Zuki Zingela, Executive Dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences, Nelson Mandela University. This message is for all our provisionally accepted students and parents. It is an honor to extend a warm welcome to you all. We know that having chosen our faculty as your home for the next few years, you will shine and thrive in your chosen health field. So what do we have to offer you in this faculty that makes us stand out from the rest? We have state-of-the-art facilities like simulation labs, up-to-date specimens and intelligent anatomy tables to help you grasp the neurosciences while practicing clinical skills that you will use as you progress onto the clinical training platform. We have dedicated tutors and lecturers committed to your success. These resources, combined with your willing young minds that are hungry for knowledge, are sure to help you make the most of all the learning opportunities made available to you in this faculty. Our three schools offer you a variety of courses and disciplines to get you started on your professional journey into the health sciences. The School of Medicinal and Clinical Sciences, for example, provides you the roadmap to the nursing professions, pharmacy, radiography, 
emergency medical care and medical laboratory sciences. While the School of Behavioral and Lifestyle Sciences will take you to psychology and related professions, social work, human nutrition and dietetics, and human movement science. We also have the medical school to start you on your way to becoming a doctor who is socially conscious. Our Directorate of Learning and Teaching and Directorate of Research complement our bouquet of offerings which are meant to support you as you grow your knowledge and footprint in the health sciences. We are so excited to begin this academic adventure with you and we look forward to being your guide as you work to discover your strengths and your passions for academia. Come join us. Let's change the world together. Nelson Mandela University's virtual recruitment team offers students the opportunity to ask and receive answers to specific university-related questions during online virtual meetings. Multiple topics can be discussed like academic program information, applicant score calculation, online application assistance, career and study field information, student life and events overviews. Schedule a meeting by simply clicking book now, then complete the online booking form and follow the steps to have your queries answered. I am Professor Ilse Tuter. I am the Director of the School of Clinical Care and Medicinal Sciences. There are five departments in my school. The two biggest departments are Nursing Science and Pharmacy and then three smaller departments, Medical Laboratory Science, Emergency Medical Care and also Radiography. All five are clinical departments, meaning that the students work in the clinical setting in most of the programs from the second year. Our um, programs are very practice focused, um, in other words, and also we are engaged with the communities that we serve. Um, the five clinical departments are um, very busy departments. We have practitioners um, in the departments who are training our students, but we also have practitioners in the practice settings that further train our students um, to, uh, regarding the finer practical application of the skills. Um, why should you come to Nelson Mandela University and come and study in our School of Clinical Care and Medicinal Sciences? I want to say because it is the best school. Um, please come to us because, yes, it's community engaged, it is patient focused and it is a unique learning experience. We are really living the ethos of Nelson Mandela. Um, we are here for, for our society. And um, we also have our values of the university that we abide by. And we've got a 2030 vision that you are very welcome to uh, read up on, on the website of our university. You can also look at our faculty website for more information. There are different um, admission requirements, obviously, for the different programs. It is five very distinct qualifications, very distinct uh, professions that we're training but what we do share is um, the fact that it's all clinical um, departments and clinical training and we also meet each other so the different clinical um, professions we also let you get to know each other because we also believe in interprofessional education. Clear, have I answered all your questions? Um, if there are any further um, further information, please feel welcome to email us, to contact us. Um, we will gladly provide you with more information. Thank you.
Hi guys, I'm Alex and I'm a third year student. Hello guys, I'm Nenetu and I'm a second year student and we are currently studying emergency medical care. And we are based on Ocean Science Campus in Summerstrand. So as a first year student, you experience a lot of challenges that help you become a better person and paramedic. You learn to overcome them with a great support system, including your friends, family and of course your classmates. Our course does contain a theory as any other course, but we are mostly practical based. And we do have rescue with the greatest rescue equipment received from Rescue South Africa and the greatest practitioners rescue-wise and medical field-wise. We would just like to end off the video by wishing you the best of luck with your final exams. And I hope you have fun and see you guys next year. Hi, I'm Belden Hussain and I'm a third year radiography student at Nelson Mandela University. My experience in this department has been exciting. Our department is situated at the Ocean Science Campus in the beautiful Summer Strand. As a first year student, most of your classes will be here in the computer lab and your practicals in the x-ray room. Good luck with the rest of the year and we look forward to welcoming you to our department next year. Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kuman Molose and I'm a second year student in the nursing department of the Nelson Mandela University and right here I'm at the simulation lab, this is where we practice all our skills that is giving us full exposure before we go to the clinics and hospitals. So uh, being here for me is an amazing experience, we've got great lecturers who are tutoring us in every step, taking that baby step with us in every step of the way they are there. So do join me in showing the experience of the Nelson Mandela University and I do hope to see you next year here and we'll be helping you out guys, so just relax, come here and study with us because it's amazing. Welcome to the Department of Farmers at Nelson Mandela University. I am Shongan Shirin, the current B Farm 1 student. Our department is in Summer Strand South Campus. Here we are at Pharmaceutics Laboratory where we are taught how to compound and manufacture medicines. I found a lot of practicals interesting and I hope you will find them interesting as I did. Hi everyone, I'm a first year pharmacy student and my name is Kayla Clausen. Today I will be showing you the pharmaceutical chemistry lab. In this lab we do inorganic pharmaceutical chemistry which is the foundation of all the chemistry we will be doing in the pharmacy course. We also do organic chemistry where we make all different substances and reactions and it's very fun and very interesting. <laughs> Good day, my name is Ewan De Hart. I am a medical laboratory science student during my first year at Nelson Mandela University. We are situated on North Campus where we have our classrooms and we have our medical laboratories and our computer laboratories. Currently we are busy with our cell biology practicals and we are busy with the denaturing of proteins so that should be interesting. <laughs> I hope to see all of your beautiful faces next year. Bye. Thank you very much, Prof. Tutor. What do you think would be a key strength or trait that a student should have to excel in your school? Wow, that's an interesting question. I will say the passion for for what um, the student wants to study for. So the passion, that, that um, curiosity, that, that desire, that deep desire for knowledge to know more and then very importantly 
um, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it is about serving people. It's not about you and, and titles. It is about you serving the community, serving patients. Um, yeah, I think the passion, if you're curious about something and you really, there's that deep desire inside, and then obviously be prepared to work very, very hard. It's a, it, for all the qualifications, it's fairly long uh, roads to travel, but it is not impossible. If you love what you're doing, you're going to make a success of it. Thank you very much, Prof. Trutte. Now we'd like to introduce Prof. Fikile Nobete, the director of the Nelson Mandela University Medical School. Thank you, Claire, for the introduction. Um, so I'm just going to quickly introduce the program, the NPCHB program, and uh, then get into how far we've gone with it. So it's a six-year program, and, um, and the requirements for you to join are such that you must have done uh, mathematics, English, uh, life sciences, and physics. And the minimum mark for each of those subjects should be 60%. The applications generally open in the 1st of April and they close at the end of June, so that the selection may set in the first week of October. And as such, we have had a selection that has set and that selection was then take the top 100 students that have been found to qualify, and this is for 2023. Uh, however, we do know that some students may prefer to go to one institution than the other, and so we have a reserve list. So the first 100 students should have had by now what the outcome of the application was. However, for those that may not have had yet, they shouldn't despair because they may still be on the reserve list, in which case then we'll be able to make contact with them over the next couple of weeks. Now, our medical school is a young medical school, which will be now operating for the third year. However, we have actually distinguished ourselves as, uh, as having identified key areas that speak to the province and to the country at large. And such programs include the project of the ex-mine workers, we are also now aligned with the mental health in the region of the Eastern Cape, as well as that we have started the nanomedicine project. And we are one of the very few medical schools in the country that actually hosts a nanomedicine project. And so we have then established ourselves as people who want to be responsive to the community around us. And this is why even on a graduate program, is a primary oriented program, primary healthcare oriented program that seeks to respond to the needs or the health needs of our region and of our country at large. Although we stress the issue of primary healthcare orientation um, education, we also train our students in such a way that beyond their internship program, which is currently two years and the, the subsequent um, community service uh, year, that they will still be able to apply for postgraduate training in their specialty of choice. So I thank you very much, Claire, for giving me the opportunity to, to just give an outline of uh, what the medical school is about and how far we have gone for the applications for this coming year. Thank you. My name is Yenobani Mdiapi and I'm a second year medical student from Nelson Mandela University. Our school is located in the Missionville campus which is in the heart of the community. As a first year student who decides to come to the university, you can expect to come to a very vibrant campus that is full of diverse students who are each trying to find their passion and purpose in this world with each day and with each test, each module, trying to gain enough knowledge so that we can be able to change the world. Our medical school we have state-of-the-art facilities which include the not to march table whereby you actually get an opportunity to dissect the cadaver and know what to see before you actually go to dissect we also have really great staff who are willing to go the extra mile put in the extra hours for us to receive the best content and honestly they really do go the extra mile we also have the clinical skills building which is somewhat of a simulation of what an actual hospital looks like and you get to feel like you're in a hospital during those days whereby you get 
Getty is the Kalika Girls Building. And just the environment on its own. It's a very quiet area away from this hustle and bustle of the city, especially when you get to go outside. to wish you all the best of luck for the final year exams and I hope that you get an opportunity to reach all the goals that you set up for yourself. Hopefully I get to see, we get to see you guys here next year and you get to be part of our medical school. Yes, so if we are a student on a waiting list, uh, what, who should we contact to find out where we are on the waiting list and what the next steps are for us as a student? Yeah. Well, thank you for that question. Now, um, all students, uh, whether they're on their reserve list, or whether they're on the first list of acceptance, or whether they have been unsuccessful, they would be able to look into their application status online. So if they go into the system that they would have used to apply, they will be able to view their status. So this status is updated on a daily basis. And so if one on the, on the first list, for example, uh, has changed their mind or they are moving to another institution and their position is, it opens up, then we will take the next qualifying student who fills that in. And so it is quite important for students to keep looking on a daily basis on what their status is online. However, students are also welcome to go to the university website, which is mandela.ac.za, and if they click onto the icon of the medical school, they will be able to get the email contacts of our applications officer, who generally responds on the same day to whatever questions that the students may have. And similarly, the, the same website and the same officer may actually be approached uh, by students who have accepted the offers should they need to know more information such as information around accommodation information around sponsorships or funding of the of the program etc so yeah thank you very much prof nombete we now hand over to mrs marilyn africana to share on the next steps and key things to keep in mind moving forward Nelson Mandela University offers financial assistance to full-time students in the form of bursaries, merit awards, scholarships and study loans, namely Anisfis and Fundi. Our vision at Nelson Mandela University is to assist all financially needy and academically deserving students to impact the world. Education is the most powerful weapon to change the world. And our central mission is to facilitate the learning process for all students by cultivating an environment that enriches and supports holistic learning for all deserving students, regardless of economic background. I would like to touch base on the following three topics, NAFSA's applications. The 2023 academic year, NAFSA's funding applications window have opened on the 28th of September 2022. You can create a My NAFSA's account via the NAFSA's link. Your ID number will be your username. The NAFSA's How to User Guide will be shared with everyone after the session. The following topic is how to apply for online campus accommodation. The closing date for applying for the university's on-campus accommodation was the end of September 2022. You can use the on-screen link for more information or email us. Thirdly, as a provisionally accepted student, what is the process going forward? I will discuss. Provisionally accepted students are to submit their final metric results once it becomes available if you are a 2022 matriculant. Accepted students are to confirm the offer of acceptance with the relevant access and enrollment officer for your specific qualification. Students would be allowed to register for the 2023 academic year once they receive final acceptance confirmation from the Nelson Mandela University Student Access and Enrollment Department, previously called Admissions. 
Online registrations for first years will open mid in January 2023. Date to be confirmed once the registration program has been finalized. The 2023 registration down payment fees are to be settled paid upfront before you can proceed with your 2020 registration online if you are funding your own studies. You can email proof of payment to student accounts. Email will be provided. If you have applied and will be receiving NAFSA's funding, you need to follow up with student financial aid via the following mailbox. To get financial clearance in order to register for the 2023 academic year. To obtain a quote from the Nelson Mandela University website by clicking on the following link. You can register from anywhere you will need to enter your student number and PIN to login. Your registration PIN will be SMS to you before 2023 online registration opens. The Faculty Academic Administration section will share all the 2023 registration information via email with all our 2023 accepted students within the Faculty of Health Sciences. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Africana. And just as an additional question, what would happen if my contact details changed? Um, how would I update these? Thank you, Claire, for the question. All new applicants can update their personal details via the online application system. Thank you, Mrs. Africana. And as a provisionally accepted student, what would be the next step for me to keep in mind? The next step would be to pass your matric well in order to still admit the admission requirements for the degree that you applied admission for. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Africana, for the useful information. In case you missed any of the information, we will now share the faculty contact details. Please feel free to contact us should you have any further inquiries. We thank you all for joining us. Have a great day further.